Penumbra. She's an international woman of action. Nerd soul. Late ill kid at one youngster holding it down, bringing that street geek and nerd soul. What is up, my people, today? Oh, yeah, we're coming with another wonderful episode of Talk Shop. That's right, it's all about comics. I got a small, well, it's not small. I have a pretty cool, how should we say, announcement for you guys. Uh, I know it's been a while since it's been a video drive, it's been a couple days, and a couple people have been wondering where I've been. Well, due to this, I am now a new dad. Oh, snap. It is so sweet. Uh, my son was born on the 21st of December. That's right, a Christmas baby. I couldn't be happier. I'm extremely excited. Uh, glad to share it with you guys. And I am glad to get into this issue. So let's talk about Penumbra. And right now, I'm going to go on and talk about issue one, which I really kind of, really, really kind of like for the way it's produced and the way it's set up. Uh, Penumbra is kind of like an international woman of action. Uh, she takes on these jobs. She's almost like a 007-ish type, but more of a mercenary for hire, if you will. You know, if you need something stolen, she can handle it for you. And then the first issue, we get this crazy situation in this club where, of course, she's there to steal something that is Mm, how should we say, a very important movie. And <laughs> when she gets there, of course, there's other people trying to steal it as well. And hilarity ensues. And the thing I like about this is not only the, the art style and the coloring, but the dialogue plays pretty well. I like her attitude, I like her wit, she's funny, um, and homegirl can hold her own. She's very, very dope in a fight. Like there's this chick clandestine that she gets into it with, and it is a riot. I'll be honest, this is a very short issue, but it's a lot of fun. Um, it gives you kind of like a nice reprieve from some of the more serious books out there. Uh, it's nice to just read something that's like whimsical. It has an anthology vibe to it. Um, she has a job here, she has a job there, but she keeps it funny. And she even has fun with the guys that are like protecting the items that she's trying to steal from. You know, it's like, hey, look, it's not you, it's not me, it's the job. You know, it's not personal, I'm just doing what I got to do. And when it comes to the job that she has to do, I really wish I could tell you guys more about the movie, but trust me, you need to read it yourself and you will get a nice little kick out of it, especially if you're into, let's say, sci-fi fantasy. Uh, another thing that grabbed me about this first issue is the lettering. It's very, it's unique. It's, it's a little offbeat if you're not used to reading indie comics, but I do like how it's set up. So I did want to give a shout out to the lettering. The production uh, as a whole on the first issue is pretty strum tight. Like I ain't going front. Uh, I was kind of surprised by just how good it was with those like couple of, you know, small pages. Cause usually the shorter the issue when it comes to indies, there could be some problems. But here I had a lot of fun, man. There's some giggles in here, some cool fight scenes and some definite witty banter from back and forth. So that's my take on the first issue. You guys should definitely check it out in the link below. And of course, before we move on to issue number two, Cure Brand gonna help us pay them bills. Yeah, guys, check that Cure brand in the link below for some dope urban wear. Get yourself a shirt, get yourself a hat. All that good stuff is right there for you. So, of course, enjoy and cop it. Now, let's get into issue two, because like I said, this is an anthology series, so you don't have to particularly read issue one to be up on issue two, or vice versa. You know, you can jump into this, say, issue 10, and pick up issue two and three, and still have just as much fun, because it's more about the girl herself and her crazy antics, while she steals a couple things from here and from there. And in this issue, she meets up with the wild hair. And of course, it's a guy with some powers, just like some other people in this world. And his power happens to just be bunny ears. Now this issue is drawn differently and colored differently because of course with the anthology series, I think it's good to pick up different illustrators 
and different colorists and stuff like that. I think it actually helps push the narrative that this is a different space, a different time, a different story, a different tale that she's going through. Um, I also like that she deals very well, once again, with the guards, man. You know how it is when it comes to guards. You know, it's just a regular dude. He's paid to guard something. You know, he, he might not be the best trained, but at least Penumbra doesn't treat him horribly. You know what I'm saying? She She's kind of like, look, all right, you guys are dumber than me, but you know, hey, kiss your mother for me. And with an attitude like that, who can resist just the, the charm of this book? And I think that's where it shines, man. This is just, of course, another tale of her stealing something cool, but there's a charm around her. She's got a great attitude. She's written very well. She has a, a cool wit, like I say, but she's not, she doesn't shy away from a fight. So I like that you get your comedy, you get a little bit of your action. And especially at the end of this issue, she gets tangled up into something that maybe she can't just wiggle herself out of. But guys, if you have checked out Penumbra, or if you haven't checked that link below, get yourself a bit of Penumbra. But of course, holla at me, I'm gonna holla at you. Down in them comments, let's talk about Penumbra. I'm into it. I think it's something that's very, it's very necessary when it comes to comics. I think the broader the genre gets, the better it is for all of us. And I'd love to see, a, you know, a nice little, you know, thief for hire, if you will, that has a tiny heart of gold and a lot of wit and some jokes for your butt. So before I bounce, I'm going to tell you to hit up thatnerdsoul.com. That's right. Check me out right there. All my videos from the oldest, newest, latest, greatest, and all that. Then hit up shop.thatnerdsoul.com and pick Yo, self, up a t-shirt player, and don't forget to get one for them play ads. Then come back here, like, comment, subscribe, and share that nerd soul. That's right. There's no better way that I can show people that you like what you are watching. So, LA, what up? VA, what up? RVA, you got my heart. And please, be good to yourself. Be good to each other. And remember, Penumbra is not playing no games. So you better watch yourself. Peace.